Hello again, Dr. Dave Gaitros for COP3014. Today we're going to talk about if statements. Very simple if statements. And what's nice about if statements is it gives us the ability to ask a question inside of the program and to make our program much more flexible to adapt to certain situations. What we have set up here is we have two numbers declared, number one, number two. They're both initialized to zeros. And I print a message out that says enter in two numbers. And the idea is I'm going to enter in two numbers separately, two integers. And I'm going to ask a question based upon those two numbers. Well, and this statement looks like this. It starts off the word if, then left parentheses. Now, you notice the compiler went ahead and put the right parentheses in there. And what goes inside these parentheses is a question. I'm going to ask a question. And based upon that answer that question, whether it's true or false, I'm going to do something or not do something. Okay, if num1 is greater than or uh, equal to, we'll just say greater than or equal to number 2, we'll just print out a message, see out, number 1 is, is uh, greater than or equal to And print out a message. Okay, then we'll stop our program. Well, let's go ahead and build this. Seems to have built okay. We're going to start without debugging. We'll run Mac as we're going to run. Enter in two numbers. I'm going to say 23, and let's say we'll make sure this prints out 15. It says number one is greater than or equal to number two. <clears throat> and indeed, that is the case. All right. Now let me run it again. Okay. Let me say debug. Start without debugging. And we're going to say, okay, uh, let's see, uh, 23 and 23. Well, number one still is greater than or equal to. They're both equal. All right. Now let me do something else. Let me debug. Start without debugging. And I'm going to say, well, okay, 23 and 43. Okay. I'm going to have that in program. Now you'll notice that it didn't do anything. Well, that's because I didn't tell it to. Okay. If number one is greater than a number two, it's going to print out this message. Else what it's going to do? Well, there's nothing else here. Well, let me put in an else statement. Let me put in else. See out. Okay. Number one is not greater than. up here. We'll save this. Okay, save me. We're going to build. Build solution. You can press F7. Once succeeded, debug. Start without debugging. Now we're going to type in the other. We're going to say 23 and 45. Now you notice when I enter in data, I can either enter them in separately or I can type them in separated by the space. It works the same way. So I said, ah, number one is not greater than or equal to number two. So here we have a simple if statement. We have the word if followed by a Boolean expression, a question. And if it's true, what it's going to do is it's going to execute the statement that's right after that right parentheses. If it's not true, it's going to either do the statement that occurs right after that or if there's an else, it will do the else. Again, we're using simple statements here. Now, let's say that right here, on C out, I actually wanted to do print out a couple of things, or I want to do a couple of statements. Okay. It doesn't matter what they are. And let's say that the, for some reason I wanted to, uh, uh, let's see here, let's say that. Let's say that after I printed that message out, I wanted to go ahead and assign number two. Number two is equal to 100. Okay. Now, if it's more than one statement, what you have to do is you have to put these these blocks around them uh, to group them together, so that after the if statement, if the boolean expression is true, it knows to execute 
this entire block of statements right here. Same goes through for the else statement. If I need to do more than one statement right there, okay, see how I'll just go ahead and put it on a separate line. And let's say that for some reason I wanted to assign uh, here I want to put number one is equal to one hundred. Right, you can see so you'll see that. Simple if statement. If then or else. Uh, it's a way of actually uh, uh, changing the path of a program. Practice this a little bit. Also remember that up in here we can do uh, that is greater than or equal to. This is less than or equal to. This is equal. And this is a pit bull. Let's say that I do this. I say number one is equal to number two. Well, let me go ahead and save that. Now this is an error. I'm going to tell you it's a mistake right now. Okay, I'm going to build it. Build solution. I did not get an error. All right, and I'm going to uh, debug. I'm going to start without debugging. Now what it's really going to do, and I'll move this to the side so you can see it, is actually going to take number two and give it to number one, and then it will evaluate the expression. Okay, is number one equal to number two? So I'm going to say 12 and 35. Okay. Well, if it's not equal, then it should go to the L statement. It's not going to do that. Okay. This is a mistake. What I'm doing is I'm assigning the number two to number one. I'm not checking the equality. That's not something I want to do. The correct way to do it is here is equal sign right here. Equal sign, and then I say is. Equal to is not equal to. All right. So this is the correct way to do it. Two equal signs right there. Let's go ahead and build that. Build solution. Debug. Start without debugging. I'm going to say 12 and 12. Ah, the number is equal to number two. Very good. Let's make the mistake. Let's take that out. Let's save it. Let's build. No errors. Debug. Let's start without debugging. And let's do this. I'm going to say 12 and 24. It says number one is equal to number two. We know that's not true. It is a false. But because it did this, it assigned the number two to number one and evaluated any positive number is considered true. So this is a classic mistake this will make. Anyway, this is um, uh, simple if statements. Now we're going to go on to more complex if statements, uh, uh, including complex Boolean expressions and nested if statements.